My name is Jim Lorenz and I'm uh, the area leader for technology development in our research and development department. Tailings are generated from the process of removing bitumen from oil sands. They include sand, clay, and a little bit of residual bitumen along with the carrier fluid, which is water. These three materials are naturally found in the oil sands. And when dried, the clay material can form a substrate for future reclamation activities. So the government has requested that we start reducing the volume of fluid fine tailings that we have. So we have committed to three technologies to meet the objectives that the government has set out for the oil sand industry. They're composite tailings, centrifuging of uh, mature fine tails, and uh, water capping of uh, mature fine tails. We've worked in combination with uh, Natural Resources Canada out of CanMet, and we came up with the centrifuge process um, which was developed in about 2007 for the oil sands. We've piloted it uh, in 2007 on a small scale, then in 2008, and what you see behind me is our 2010 uh, campaign. The centrifuging technology involves uh, removing the clay fluid material from the tailings pond, adding a uh, water treatment chemical to it, and then centrifuging it out in uh, high-speed centrifuge. The clay material is first introduced into the blue tank. From the blue tank, we're pumping it to three parallel centrifuges, uh, two 60-centimeter centrifuges and one one-meter centrifuge. Similar to your uh, washing machine in your house, it spins out the water, results in a clay-like uh, cake material, From there, the water is sent back to the tailings pond for future reuse in the extraction process. And the cake material is conveyed over to trucks so that it can be transported over to form deposits which are gonna be tested for reclamation activities in future years. I'm standing on the toe of the centrifuge cake deposit that we deposited over the last three weeks. I'll remove a piece of the clay here to show you the consistency of the clay. So it's starting to form a crust, underneath is still soft, but over a period of 12 months with a freeze thaw, this material will be strong enough to support vehicle traffic or human foot traffic. And it'll be uh, at a state where uh, reclamation activities could begin or where subsequent layers could be deposited on it. From this campaign so far, we've learned that uh, trucking the cake material is feasible. We can truck it long distances or short distances. We've also uh, determined that the cake is pumpable. We can actually pump it to uh, location. And those are both important transportation technologies that we can employ in the future. So this work is rewarding because it not only shows that we can remove the oil from the oil sands, but it also shows that we can return the land back to the state that Mother Nature introduced it to us at.